Hi y'all, Elaine here from MRE Studio Designs and today I want to work on a cane. So I have three pieces of the pearl. I have a bright green pearl, a purple pearl, and the peacock pearl. And these are all in the Sculpey Primo. I also have my roller, my tissue blade, and my craft knife. And what I want to do is I want to do some Skinner blends with the three colors. So we're going to take these, we're going to cut them diagonally. Place them on top of each other. And we're going to roll them just to get them connected. And then we're going to run them through our pasta machine and make a Skinner blend. We're going to put it through this way and back again. So I'll be right back. So here are our three Skinner blends. And now we're going to put them through the machine, reducing them each time until they're very, very thin. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. So here's our Skinner blends rolled out really thin. And what I want to do is I want to accordion them. So we're just going to fold them over on each other, back and forth. And there are our three colors, blended and stacked. Okay, so what I think I want to do is I want to cut these in half. This is what they look like. And I think the three of them I'm going to make into a snake or a log or sausage, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do the same with all of these. These other ones, I want to make them flatter this way and wider. So we have the blue on the one side and the white on the other. And I'm going to do the same with the other two as well. Okay, so now we're back to our little sausages here, and I want to reduce these in several different thicknesses. So I'm going to, first of all, cut the end off here, see what we got. And I'm going to cut this, I think, in fourths. So we're going to do the same thing with all of the other ones. Okay, so here are all our pieces. And all of our little pieces cut out. Now I got to decide what I want to do with these. I think what I want to do is I'm going to start putting these in any kind of random order on each of the colors. I don't really have anything in particular in mind. I'm just kind of playing with this. So uh, we'll see how it turns out.
we're going to stack them. Bring these around this way. Actually, let's put this piece on the inside. Bring those around that way. And this piece. Around like this. And bring this this way. Okay. Okay. So let's reduce this a little bit and see what we got. Trying to get the air out at the same time. Okay, let's see what we got here. Quite what I expected, but still, what if we cut this over in this side? Well, that looks a little better, it looks like a paisley. What if we flatten this out? Let's flatten that out. Itself. See what that gives us. into a triangle. Yeah, I kind of like that.
kind of an interesting king. Let's reduce that a little bit. Okay, let's see what it looks like. You know what? I kind of like that. See that? So we're going to reduce this down to a couple of different sizes and then we're going to put it on a backing and we'll see how that works. Okay, so here we have three sizes. Let's cut the end over this one. Okay, so I think we're going to put it on a pink backing to con contrast with the green. Now, normally we let this rest for a while since we're doing this tutorial. We're just going to go ahead and cut some of these. And what I'm going to do, so I try not to distort it too much, is when I'm cutting it, I'm rolling it at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up, and when I'm done, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have a bunch placed on there. We're going to take a piece of plain paper and start to burnish it and make it as flat as we can. Our roller. I think I might actually run this through my pasta machine once. So let's get rid of some of the excess. Okay, so I ran this through once on a number two and turned it around in the opposite direction and put it through into number three and it's totally flat. It's kind of an interesting pattern. Let's see if we can do a couple earrings with that. There are our earrings that we made with our cane. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, if you'd like to help support us for future tutorials, you could check us out on our Patreon page. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.